Hi, we're Britt and Mike, and we live in this cargo van that we self-converted into a camper. We're living in Baja, Mexico for the winter, and in this video, we're bringing you along for the holiday weekend we spent at Cerritos Beach. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is the start of a three-day weekend, and we are down here in Baja, California Sur. We're currently in Cerritos, and we are spending the weekend hanging out at Cerritos Beach um, with our friends. We're in a four-van caravan, and right now we are currently heading to Cerritos Beach Docks to go check that out. And the road is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we dropped off our laundry yesterday right when we got into town and then we picked it up this morning. We had two full duffel bags of laundry and it cost us 600 pesos, which I think is a little over 30 US dollars. So, uh, but we hadn't done laundry for two weeks. So it was quite a lot of laundry and I was really nervous to drop it off, but it, we got it all back. So hopefully none of it shrank, but it seems to have gone well. We've been in Cerritos for one day now and we have learned that the roads are horrible. Any road that's not the main road is dirt. I don't appreciate people are willing to pass on this road and like, <laughs> not get pissed yeah. off and slow, go slow behind us. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, in the vans, if you try to go fast on these roads, the wheelbase is so wide that it's going to start rocking really hard. Yeah. And then you're going to have cabinets open, you're going to have a huge mess in the back. So, yeah. you got to learn to be patient. Van life. I'm honestly not ready to go to this place because I think I'm gonna cry. I have been really emotional and seeing all the dogs is gonna make me cry, I think. But let's go. They have all hey, the cabotos hey. too. Nice. Okay, so I didn't cry, but I didn't actually go in the dog enclosure, so maybe when, <laughs> I'm sure we'll come back and maybe I'll cry then. Um, I got the princess tofu smoothie, which I also identify as princess tofu, <laughs> so I thought that would be a good fit. Everything is vegan, so that's really cool. They had oat milk for the coffees and drinks and things like that, and uh, yeah. What'd you think? Uh, I love this place and I want to come back every day. We got a yeah. t-shirt. Got a t-shirt, of course. We love a t-shirt. We are big fans of t-shirts in, <laughs> in this household. Big fans of t-shirts and dogs. It's really surreal to be here because we watched a lot of vlogs last year of when people were building this place. Um, so it's just, it's really surreal to be here. And yeah, honestly, it's a great way to start the day with a coffee and a smoothie or an acai bowl or a toast or something and some puppies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cutest puppies. The cutest puppies. Yes, so many just adorable dogs here. Yeah. All right, what's next, beach? Yep, heading down to Cerritos Beach. We're just waiting on Willa Molly. Apparently Cerritos Beach is private property, so we just paid 100 pesos for day use here. And I think it's 200 pesos you can camp here overnight. Uh-oh, they stuck. <gasps> and Jake and Anna look stuck. Jake is stuck stuck. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I was looking over here like, that looks really soft. And I was like, holy sh they're stuck.
break from the beach to come back and make lunch because I don't know. No vegan food at the at the beach. I think there was like a watermelon salad, but it's not really our style <laughs> for lunch. So it's not really food. This is what we've been eating like every day for lunch. So we it's what the nice thing is we can just come back to the van and you know we have everything. We have our full kitchen and groceries. So having lunch. We are suckers because while we've been at this beach, we paid 200 pesos for an umbrella. We paid 200 pesos for this purple bracelet. And how much was this blanket? 550 pesos. 550 pesos for this blanket. But I've been wanting this blanket. We saw someone else with it at the Bay of Conception and they wanted a thousand pesos. So that was this was a deal. So. If you watched our last vlog, you might know that I had somewhat of a rough start to our Baja trip. But honestly, coming down to La Paz and then Cerritos right after was a huge turning point in our trip for me. There are a lot of different reasons for that. One of them being that we're vegan, so we had a really hard time finding our staple foods in the grocery stores until we got to La Paz. Depending on who you ask, Baja is either the most beautiful, magical, perfect dream van life destination, or it's so dangerous and you would be crazy to consider going there. I've found that neither of those is true, but it did take me a few weeks to adjust from the expectation that this was going to be the most magical, wonderful, perfect trip to adjust to what the reality actually is for us. <laughs> make a friend especially as someone who deals with anxiety it was never going to be perfect we loved the cerritos beach area and todos santos we had such a great time here and we would love to come back someday <laughs> brilliant <laughs> let me at him let me at that crab <laughs> I bet this uh, woman at the laundromat was like, dang, this girl likes Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because it's just every, it's one random piece of clothing on top of the other. Yeah, like, they just folded it as it came. <laughs> no separating Like or when anything. you do it, it's so easy to put away. And this is like, we're gonna have to separate it all and fold, refold all of it and then put it all away. I bet you appreciate the way I do it now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 